ask the new wall. And today's question we have for you, could you please explain the Sorcerer's Pyramid, its construct and purpose? The pyramid was originally designed by our Tolteca ancestors in Atlantis. Now it has great spiritual import because the four corners of the metaphorical pyramid are based on four pillars. And those four pillars are the four female stalkers. So they form the, four, the foundation of the pyramid that builds. As the pyramid builds, at the top is in the wall man and then the wall woman. So all of the steps are planned, all of the pictographs, the images of Quetzalcoatl, for example, in Teotihuacan, everything is made to enhance your understanding that you are going from Earth, the underground, and initially the pyramids first had underground places, for example, under the pyramid of Quetzalcoatl, they just discovered a corridor with golden spheres that were lit when you had a pirate that uh, when you had torches would glow. A river of mercury had to step over in order to get to the center of this underground chamber that had statuaries carved in greenstone of the foreign wall fathers tilted, staring at the column of blue energy that rose up from the underworld through the pyramid above all the way to the belts of Orion. Now, why call the Four Wall Fathers? I think you should understand that this is not about sexuality. In the codexes, they were called the Four Wall Brothers, but they have the energy of both male and female. However, they have no genitals. All of their collection and energy is done through their eyes. None of these carved figures have arms. They are also wearing tunics, which gets anthropologists rather confused because they figure that uh, any figure wearing a tunic must be a female, but they discard the fact that the Tolteca artists can actually sculpt breasts. So let's just say that these are both male and female. They were called the Nawal Fathers because at that time the bestowing of the energy came from a more patriarchal society, and that's the case with the Toltecs. So, to answer your question, the pyramid is rising up from the underworld through the earth band to get to the sun. Now, when the Aztecs discovered Teotihuacan, they distorted the pyramid to think that if they got higher and higher, they would get the sun's energy and knowledge. However, in their desperation, they began human sacrifices with heart extractions in order to gain that power from the sun, which wasn't occurring because if you're doing heart extractions, you're losing your awareness. The ancient techniques of the Quetzalcoatl actually cutting their penis in order to fertilize the earth once a year is a tribute to their idea that blood is spirit, blood is life, but blood is not to kill and make sacrifices in order, in your desperation, to come to that sort of abomination. When the Quetzalcoatl stopped that, there was quite an outrage from the uh, Tezcatli Poca lineage, and they said, Quetzalcoatl lineage is you have to flee. And that's where the rift happened between the Smoking Mirror lineage of Tezcatli Poca and the Quetzalcoatl lineages that said, we want the pure light of awareness through art and beauty and not through illusion of smoke and mirrors, for example, staring at an obsidian reflection of yourself, which is fine and dandy, but you're still staring at yourself. When I had my first, one of my first teachers, Blue Bear Facing South, he had us all look in a mirror, and then he asked all of the apprentices in the room, what did you see? Some of them said myself, some of them said, oh, I looked like I was getting older, some said, well, the illusion. What he was getting at it when you no longer see yourself, then the mirror is effective.